right, Sheeta, counting you down in five, four, three, two, one. All right, good evening, I'm meteorologist Cheetah Craft. Well, even though we are dry all across our area, I am watching these thunderstorms. They have a severe thunderstorm warning attached to them. And notice it's more central to West Texas, but that is what I will be looking for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to see new development of showers and thunderstorms. Here locally tonight, it's nice to see the radar is quiet. It is dry. I'm expecting dry conditions through the remainder of the evening. So if you want to take that walk, maybe clean up some debris around your home. I know those winds throughout the day were really strong. It's a good night to do so. Now let's go over these rainfall totals. I mean, wow, in a 24 hour period, parts of Walker County, notice that little hot pink there west of Huntsville. Uh, radar estimates anywhere from 10 to maybe upwards of 11 inches of rain for that specific spot. But a big part of Walker County picked up anywhere from eight, nine inches of rain over the past 24 hours. Let's talk Montgomery County, anywhere from four to upwards of six inches of rain. And that's also including portions of northern Harris County. I want you to take note of where the heaviest rainfall over the past 24 hours fell. It was for our northern counties. And this is a big reason why the San Jacinto River, especially the east fork of the San Jacinto, is going to be a big threat over about throughout the weekend and even into early next week. And I was going to say 48 hours, but I think it's going to be even longer than that, that we're going to be watching that very closely. Inside the city and right through, uh, let's say the loop or even in the beltway, anywhere from about one to three inches of rain. And it was about like that area south of I-10. So it depended on where you were today on how much rainfall you picked up. Let's take a look at these live flood gauges. Now we are partners with the Harris County Flood Control District. Notice everywhere in Harris County is green. That is good news, right? We're not seeing any active flooding with the exception of Northeast Harris County and getting into portions of Liberty and Montgomery County, all connected to the San Jacinto River. Remember the reason why? Those big rain accumulations the past 24 hours for some of our Northern counties, but all of these are experiencing flooding. Now, some of the warnings that are in place are in place through Tuesday through four o'clock. Remember, as more water is released and we are expecting new showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, this problem is only going to increase through the weekend. So right now, uh, the National Weather Service has our flood watch in effect for Harris County, but specifically here for Northern Harris County and all of the counties to our north. That's because another half to two inches of rain will be possible tomorrow. Isolated spots, could pick up more than two inches of rain on Friday. So this is new additional rainfall that we haven't seen yet. Looking at our future track, the rest of the night, remember, is dry. We're under cloudy skies. I'm not expecting any new rain this evening, all up and down southeast Texas. We keep it quiet. Tomorrow morning for the early overnight hours, early morning hours of Friday, 1.30 in the morning, an isolated shower is possible, but not much more than that. I'm going to put that into motion through about 7.30, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, a 30% chance for these light scattered showers. Not expecting much more than that for your early morning and maybe even midday. Now let's talk lunchtime tomorrow. Some of these thunderstorms want to develop in counties that do not need any rain. And this is these are some of the thunderstorms that could quickly produce a half to two inches of rain. Now putting that into a quick forecast. In fact, you know what? We're on a live stream. I originally took those pause points out because I was going to re-put them in. So let me go back. I want you guys to see this really closely because I know some of you are making some big Friday afternoon and evening plans. So this is 4.30 Friday afternoon. Take a look at some of these thunderstorms that develop. I mean, this is across portions of Montgomery and Northern Harris County. Now, even though you don't see some of these thunderstorms on the Northeast side, we could easily see them fire up. This is just one model run, the latest model run, but still, again, the consistency of their, this not quite there just yet. Now, six o'clock tomorrow evening, some of these thunderstorms begin to become more scattered. So I'm not expecting severe weather with these thunderstorms, but I am expecting the potential of some heavy downpours. So we'll monitor this for any gusty winds, damaging winds at that, or any hail connected with these thunderstorms. But I think overall, these will just be moderate to at times heavy downpours. Six o'clock Friday night, notice how we are tracking those area-wide showers and thunderstorms. Now, putting this into the track through Friday evening, about nine, 10 o'clock Friday night, then we start to dry things out. Now, I will say, 
it looks like Saturday morning potentially we could have one more push of some light moisture and then hopefully that's about it for the weekend. You know, it's been kind of tough to get a good handle exactly how much rain we've had. Most of these thunderstorms are developing well west of us, so the timing may change, but at this point it does look like Friday afternoon. So I, I kind of split the difference as far as the percentage goes. A 40% chance tomorrow of those showers and thunderstorms, a few of those thunderstorms could produce anywhere from a half to upwards of two inches of rain. That's why that flood watch is in effect through tomorrow afternoon. Then we finally get a little bit of a break. We do turn the heat up if you haven't seen the latest forecast for next week. This is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Notice how 90s come back into play. Rain is out, but 90s are in. Um, I'll give you one last look at those flood gauges because we've been showing this on TV a lot, um, how right through, I would say, the heart of the city, we're not experiencing any flooding. And our flood gauges show that. Um, it's not, a, we're not expected to see any flooding. It is areas in Northeast Harris County. Here's the big picture here. And as we push into Montgomery and portions of Walker and Liberty County, so again, uh, areas to the north and northeast. Last look, and that's where all of those warnings are concentrated because it's mainly centered around the San Jacinto River and of course the Liberty River, uh, the Trinity River in Liberty County as well. But these areas do not need any more rain. We could see that, but tomorrow afternoon, we will be back on the TV site at 10 p.m. If we get any new updates, of course, we'll pass those along to you.